Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab, right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So two years, the gap in age with big differences in height and reach. All right, now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 236 pounds. Fighting out of Pyongyang, North Korea, bad intention. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to the end. You ready? You ready? Well, the tension is palpable as this fight gets underway, and it'll be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definitely the striker on one side. And in those situations, the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that shit. Edge of your seat action as expected so far. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Liver kick, if you take those kicks, you're gonna shut your body off. Look at the control of the posture as that big he lands. Oh, how about that? He lands a huge kick. So one minute into this fight, as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy. Back and forth. This is a full-on draw piece. It's hard to watch a fight like this 
and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's gonna take that one shot that finishes the fight. Lee gets caught with that punch. And they set him. Just missed with that right hand. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, you can hear the thwack from here as he lands another leg kick in DC. Now we're seeing visible damage as that leg starts to redden up. And now you start to see the damage. And now you start to see the limping of the opponent. Watch as he gets kicked in the leg, he's turning away. He can't even get any pressure on his front leg anymore. He is beat up. That leg has been tenderized by this young man. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. A right, little struggle here now for position in the clinch, and we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax, the moment you'll see a team. Oh! Oh, worked hard to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. Beautiful strike. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Not only will this affect his ability to stand, but he can't really set down on his punches and he won't generate the power that he normally generates because he can't really get heavy on his leg. And they separate. Oh! Oh! Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent on Beat Street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's gonna do to stay in this fight. Trying to stay in this fight! Nice punch there by Lee. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Checks the light kick. Man, he's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Effective punch there by Lee. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, get fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call 50-50 because nobody has the advantage. Who's going to be the one to find that one little area that they can expose to give them the slightest advantage. Oh, nice strike landed there by Lee. 15 seconds. And he landed the right hand there. His misses are out of team. Oh, look at that jab, snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, and he always brings his hands right back to his face. Oh, nice jab. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Second round underway. Outstanding knee body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. There's no give on that leg. Follows it up with a nice combination. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Sneaky head kick. Oh, that's a nice strike. 
Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And they separate. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Now he's got the Muay Thai club. Man, it doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body. That's nasty. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. And there comes the separation now. Wow, that right punch has been a money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strikes until he makes it. Stop going. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Again, in the clinch. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Oh, oh that one appeared to stun him. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, a big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a control posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, Continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your point. Under three to go round two. Comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensive. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Beautiful kick. Position for him here, full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you gotta start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard is up, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last round. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there throwing and stringing those combinations together. He landed those big punches over and over again, and it was this one right here that really did change the tide of the round. Take a breath and relax. You're okay. Your head 
a little buzz, you got knocked down. That's not a problem. This round, we're gonna get it back. Are you ready? You ready? Fight! Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body. Really starting to connect at will when it comes to working the body. Just right there, he could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or his mama's out with Thanksgiving. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Stop him Fight's done. Got the single follow time. Huge elbow there. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to chase that finish down now. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Uh, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Working off of his back here, looks like he may try to hip escape. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Lee. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Lee. Oh, he keeps attacking that left eye. Now it's starting to close. Let's go, do something. Pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Lee gets up, he is back on the feet here. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any sign. Oh, huge right hand! He's in trouble, he's hurt bad. Oh, big left hook there. done to finish the fight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as one of the better KOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 22 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and intention. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And that'd be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public Tonight he did exactly that.